Let me show you how to get even the shortest of nails that some are ready. So you're going to start by pushing the cuticles back. I'm using a double-ended tool from Sunshine Equipment. I will pop any links down below that I can. Um, and then I go in using this bit from Haley Winder. I absolutely love it. It's brilliant. I work in reverse and I only need to do one kind of one kind of swoop round. And you'll see here where I've got that extra bit of cuticle. It just pushes it off so easily. Then I go in with my Sunshine brush and my cuticle curved scissors from them as well. Then I go in with a round ball bit. I think that one's from Hayley Winder as well um, and that's literally just to exfoliate and tidy up the cuticle we want to try and get as much of that nail plate visible as possible and brushing as we go along all the time because we need to see what we're working with so then I go in with the mini sanding band from Katie Barnes um, I really like this I know I was rave about it but it's so good for, I, I would never go back to a normal size sanding band now it's perfect and you're just really gently tickling over that surface area just to take the shine off and etch the nail plate then I dehydrate and then I go in with a very thin layer of a super bond base from Jellifique. Um, I use their hard brush to really scrub that in. And if you'll notice, I'm lifting that brush up at the end. So I'm trying to get as minimal product on the skin. Anything I do get on the skin, I'll clean immediately before it goes into cure. With these, because they are shorter, I am using a build gel because my client's got, you know, kind of a busy job where she's doing a lot. Um, but I... I'm literally just going in with two relatively thin coats of builder gel. I don't need any more than that because I don't need to build any structure. I'll still use my fine liner brush just to make sure that I've got it right to the edges and it's nice and smooth. Um, and then I'll obviously refine it with the file and very gently buff because I don't want to take a lot off. I just want to make sure there's no indents. Then again, I'm going in with my sunshine dusty brush, which I love, and it's fully sanitizable, which I also love, um, to cleanse it. And then I go in with a base coat. Um, you don't need to, but but I like to, I just find it helps adhesion. Once that's all cured, I'm gonna go in with my color. You'll notice I'm just gently lifting the brush up at the end there to try and get, so I'm not getting anything on the product, but you'll see here, it does happen occasionally. I can't tell you how frustrating it is, but as soon as that's on the skin, I clean that off using a mixture of acetone and alcohol just to make sure that's really, really off there. Then I'll cure it, go in with a second coat, and then I go in with my top coat. I hope that helps, but if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.